welcome to Beck's Healthy Cooking Show. I'm here with my beautiful niece, Rochelle. Again. Again. <laughs> and um, we, I had a few uh, questions on Facebook asking for quinoa salads. And I've got this great one, which I really like, and I'm sure you will too, especially with the summer season coming upon us and lots of barbecues. This is a really easy salad to make. You can make it the day before, um, and, it's, um, and, it, and it tastes even better the next day. Okay, first of all, you need to cook your quinoa. So to do it in the Thermo mix, I've pre-cooked this, but I'll just explain how I did it. I got 350 grams of quinoa, rinsed it really well in this, filled this up with 900 grams of water, put this in with the quinoa in it, put it on speed four, temperature 100, for 18 minutes and that just steamed it beautifully and then the end result is you have beautiful quinoa here. Looks lovely. Looks lovely. Okay. Now, if what, only I knew what quinoa was. <laughs> it's a superfood. It's a grain that is really, really high in protein. So it's replacing a lot of um, rices because it's low in carbohydrates than, than oh, rice right. and things like that. And it's got all the protein that they don't have. Um, yes, and it's very adaptable. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need a red onion. So if you can quarter the red onion for me, that would be great. There's lots of fresh herbs in this too. No onions. <laughs> Rule my makeup. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so we'll put that in put here. In. So we chop this. Again, we go back to our nice little trusty helper here. And for chopping, it is hard vegetables, three seconds on speed five. Okay. And you need to pay attention with that because I've made the mistake of mincing everything. Done. I might do it a little bit more. Now often what I'll do Okay. If you'd like to put that in there, sure. that's great. So that's the Maybe I'll use this. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> What we're also going to do is put in um, some dried fruit. It's got a Moroccan feel to it. Um, some cinnamon. So we're going to put in some lemon rind as well. Officially, I'm crying. Yeah, I know, <laughs> so am I. We should have thought this through a bit better, shouldn't we? <laughs> All right. If you can tip in a tin of chickpeas, you could also okay. put in lentils. Okay, so I've got some lemon rind in there. We're just going to zip that up for about three or four seconds on speed nine. Okay, so two or three seconds. Have a look at that, Rochelle. Wow. If that's the lemon rind. Okay, so we're going to put that in here. And then I'm going to put a whole heap of fresh herbs. And I'm going to ask Rochelle if she can juice me the juice of those two lemons. Ooh and she can make the dressing for us. Okay, sounds good. So we're going to do an olive oil and lemon dressing. Now what you can do, which I find a really good way of doing this, is when the quinoa is cooked and you've got it steaming hot, add the red onion and the lemon rind and the flavours infuse really well and the heat of the quinoa will actually start cooking the uh, the red onion just to soften that a little bit so it's not got that really raw flavour. So we're going to add our apricots, pitted dried dates. We're just going to zip those up again for about four seconds on speed. Five. That's beautiful. Yes. Um, I was just wondering. I've never made quinoa salad before. Yeah. So. Um, is it, because it's quite a sweet salad, this I'm finding is, from yes. the ingredients. Yes. Is it good for like barbecues? It's what, great, it's great what for barbecues. What sort of accompaniments? Um, it's great with chicken and lamb okay. um, and fish. So I'm going to put some dill, some chives and some mint. I love mint and in summer, I just can't get enough of mint. I'm growing all of this at the moment, but it's still not grown enough to put it in the salad. And it just gives it a really lovely fresh flavour. And then if you can add some of the cranberries to this and also a couple of big handfuls of the spinach to that as well because I love some green in there. Okay, and we're just going to chop up the... And then 
The other secret ingredient that I love to add, tell me what is it? Is a couple of good teaspoons of cinnamon to this. It's just beautiful. It adds some cinnamon. beautiful flavours. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So we've got all these lovely fresh herbs, all chopped up, ready to go in. Can you smell that? Yeah, it's very. And this is also sort beautiful. Sort of reminds me of Pim's. Pim's <laughs> summer <laughs> with the mint, everything, the yeah. strawberry. <laughs> everything reminds Rochelle of alcohol. <laughs> there we go. Should I put in the um, lemon juice? Yes, we'll mix right. that with some olive oil first. Okay. So a couple of good teaspoons of cinnamon. Sort of just like that. Yep. Two more. Yes, please. So we've got the juice of two lemons and then we've probably got about a third of a cup of olive oil. And then we'll mix. That might be a third. Yep. Or, or a, a bit more. A bit, a bit more, more yep. And then we'll mix it all together. Um, you can also add some feta, you could add some roasted pumpkin, you could add some roasted sweet potato, you could make it into a meal, you could serve it with Greek yogurt too, that's really delicious. Um, we often just have it as a meal with Greek yogurt on top and the family love that. And then we just plug in. Plug, yes. <laughs> so we've got the dried fruit in there, we've got, and we can also add nuts to this as well for a crunch factor. My daughter's allergic to nuts, but we've roasted um, pumpkin seeds and added that to it and it's delicious. But this is a really, can you smell the, smells really fresh? Yeah, absolutely. And so for a, a barbecue, it's just a really lovely salad. If I mix it properly. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the quinoa salad that we've made today. Um, if you'd like more information, you can see our Facebook page on Vex Healthy Cooking Show, um, or you can email me on vexhealthycookingshow at gmail.com. Thanks and I'll read some of your emails. That's right. <laughs> and if you'd like any requests for cocktails, please email, pass them on to Rochelle, and we'll come back with Rochelle's cocktail hour soon. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.